Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be installing Chrome OS but actually it's called Fade OS or Fide OS I say Fade OS but basically what we're going to do is we're going to install Chrome OS on the Pi 5 so if you don't know, Chrome OS on the Pi 5 is a project that was happening, and it is still happening. It's just not many people I've seen have actually made videos about it, so I'm making a video on just that. So basically, we are going to start things off with installing Raspberry Pi Imager. If you haven't done that already, please install a Raspberry Pi Imager by going into your web browser, typing in Raspberry pi.org right going into tech no computers or you can just type in raspberrypi.com actually then go into software and it should be raspberry pi os so on raspberry pi os or linux copy and then paste this into the terminal. So, I'm not on Linux obviously, but if this was on Linux, it would look just like so. And then you click enter and it would ask you to download and install. So, yes. Then if you're on Mac, download it for Mac and install the DMG file as you would as any other op application. For Ubuntu, you just download it and run the Debian file, or .dev file. I'm not sure what it looks like. Yeah, it just downloads the .deb, run the .deb, and it should install. Now, we're on Windows, so we're going to download for Windows. And we're going to save it to my desktop, let's say. Please be try. Okay. Then, on whatever your location is, just double-click it and install it as you would just click yes and it should just go ahead and just click install and it should do it all for you then it should say run raspberry pi imager afterwards go ahead and click finish and run the program and you can just delete the installer if you want to um, so now go ahead and plug in your usb drive And it should now be plugged in. As you can see, uh, we have our USB drive. I mean, you can use a micro SD card, but it's probably fast to use a USB drive or NVMe drive or even just an SSD as it is. So then uh, make sure you know what drive letter it is. So mine is boot FSY, but I'm just going to quickly erase it by using choose OS and erase. Choose storage, make sure it is mounted as Y, boot FS, and then yes. So now it should be given a completely different drive letter. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to erase, we're now going to download Fade OS. So type in Fade OS. Oops, spelling mistake. I can't really type fast as I've got my other keyboard right in front of me. So you're going to go into Fade OS. I'm going to full screen that. Uh, we're just going to then uh, click the download button. And then go ahead and click S, uh, Fade OS for SBC. And it should be single board computer. Choose supported models. Now, this goes with uh, this instruction actually goes with the Raspberry Pi 4 and 400 um, and the Raspberry Pi 5 itself. Self explanatory. You can just go ahead and click the Raspberry Pi 5. And it's recommended to use this one, or you can use either one of these, but I'm just going to click this one. And you would just download it as you would. Now I've got ISO files, which means that I can just just download it. So we're going to type in Fade OS for Raspberry Raspberry Pi 5. 
click save and now you can see it is downloading now there's one minute left so we are going to go ahead and jump on here and I'm gonna unplug my USB drive actually no I don't need to um, you can see my USB drive is mounted as D so what we're going to do is click choose device and we're gonna click Raspberry Pi 5 I'm gonna choose OS we're gonna do that in a minute but before then uh, you need to make sure that all data on your USB drive has been um, either backed up on another USB drive it will erase everything on that drive and we're gonna go ahead and click choose OS now as you can see my download has, a, has just de finished so we're just gonna close out of the window uh, out of uh, your web browser and choose device you can go ahead and choose Raspberry Pi 5 again operating system you're gonna go ahead and click use custom and you're gonna use your Raspberry Pi 5.img.exe now you're gonna choose the storage and you're gonna choose the one that's mounted as D as for me as you know it's mounted as D so we're gonna go ahead and click that and click next uh, now I'm just gonna click no as obviously I have previously saved configurations on here which I use for configure the other video that I was making at the time and I'm gonna go ahead and click yes which will now completely erase everything so we're now going to wait until that finishes Okay, so now you have finished the writing part of it, we now have to properly set it up through the Pi. So remove your USB drive and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so switch on your Raspberry Pi. So it should now load up into Fade OS or Chrome OS. Make sure you plug in all your peripherals, otherwise you won't be able to move anything or set up the system. Okay, so I'm in the United Kingdom, so I am going to set up for the United Kingdom. So. Okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, so I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to set up using the United Kingdom keyboard and language. Now go ahead and click get started. Now here is where you're going to connect your internet, and I'm going to blur out the information on the screen for obvious reasons, but if you have ethernet, and you want to use Ethernet, go ahead and connect your Ethernet, use, uh, Ethernet uh, through to your router and also into your Pi and you can use it through there. So now it's connected and you are loading in to here. You're loading into your account setup page. So just click accept and continue. You can either use a Fade OS account or you can use a Google account, but I'm gonna use a local account for a temporary reason and it will ask you to uh, continue using an online account or use a local account. Now you're just gonna type in your username, which mine is Chaz underscore bun, and then your password, which can be absolutely anything you want. It doesn't really matter here as 
you know, you don't really need a password, but I'm going to set up a password as I want to. Okay, so underscore does not actually work for the account setup page. Okay, we're going to skip choosing a pin as I don't really want to, and I'm going to make the system screen a lot larger as I prefer. And we're going to use dark theme instead of auto. And we're just going to click this off. So we're going to get started and as you can see explore what's new on your Fade OS device. You can skip that if you want and it just opens up Chromium which is Chrome but open source. And as you can see we have what's new on here. Ooh, I got to change some settings here. So we are going to pin to shelf and we're going to open up the settings application. Now I'm going to go into device mouse and I'm going to set my cursor speed all the way as I don't know why but I just like it and we're going to do controlled um, controlled scrolling as my scrolling on here is very fast we're gonna just personalize this to make it you know however you want to make it look like so you can just change the wallpaper as you would with Chrome OS and if you don't know what Chrome OS is, it's uh, Google's operating system that they use for schools or workplaces that, you know, are just low, super low powered. Okay, so we're just gonna get our wallpaper. And you can change your accent color to make it your custom theme. Okay, so now that we've themed it, we are going to set up Android to be able to actually get um, Android apps working on here. And we're also going to set up Google Play Store, so of course you can use the Google Play Store as you would with a Chromebook. So we're just going to accept to the Yulia or Eula and launch. So, yes, um, drivers have been updated recently with FadeOS in this new release. So, instead of it on OpenFade, where it was glitching a lot when you opened up the start menu, it then doesn't have that glitching anymore. Okay, so here we are with Android um, loaded up on Chrome OS we can now set up the Google Play Store by going in configure open G apps click add and it should start uh, and then you just add app and it should start downloading and installing and boom open the app and of course just accept here I mean I don't think you need to really read this as there's it's just open source really now go ahead and click next and we're gonna just go ahead and install and click next. Now it will ask, this will configure uh, open G apps with, to your Fade OS device. Just go ahead and click install and click OK. Now you're gonna go ahead and wait this out. It will be faster on a USB drive or an SSD. So if you're on a micro SD card, bear in mind this is going to be slow. So now this is finished installing, we're just going to go ahead and reboot now so it fully reboots. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. 
So now you can go ahead and log in as you would on a regular Chromebook or a Chromebox as it should say as this identifies as a Chromebox. Okay, so we don't really need to restore anything here. Um, and I think you can generally get the gist. It will... You gotta wait a little bit as it does take a bit after a reboot to install. Okay, there we go. So now Play Store has finished installing and it's pinned to the taskbar. So you're gonna open it up and you're going to configure it as, or you're going to sign in and everything as you would with a regular Chromebook. So you're gonna have to sign in. And I'm also going to blur out uh, some information on the screen as I don't really want any of my information leaked. So it's going to go and check info and as you can see there are notifications going through and you're going to type in your Google email so here so you're now just going to click I agree and you should be signed in with Google Play Store now okay so we're just going to click accept and wait for it to check info again. It's gonna be doing that quite a lot. So you can now uh, install all these different apps that can be run on Android. Um, like Apple Music. We're just gonna go ahead and install Apple Music. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to sign in. But you can install YouTube Music for Chromebook as this is technically a Chrome OS device, which is what it identifies as. As you can use YouTube on here, 100%. You can use. You can install all your Android apps on, or ma majority of the Android apps on your Raspberry Pi using Chrome OS or Chromium OS, and still have a desktop interface and a desktop system. So, in the store there is a web-based, this is basically a web-based system, um, Chromium OS is. You even have remote desktop, so if you have FadeOS remote desktop on your iPhone or Android phone, and you can even install a OneDrive on here, I'm pretty sure this is just... So you can install any of your OneDrives to FadeOS, which is really nice. Uh, essentials, like YouTube, this is literally just a, a web app, so it just goes straight into here. And yes, please like and subscribe and share in the comments down below on what you would like to see in my future videos. This has been a real fun experience for me to just experiment with Android itself uh, on Chrome OS and even just generally run Chrome OS on the Pi as it is.